Hello everyone. Welcome to Tina Voda Shop. So today is another one of our live. And today we are going to do Scorpio. Uh, and also this month is Lynn's birthday and Lynn is a Scorpio. So this is dedicated to Lynn's and all of our Scorpio friends. So let me show you the design. First, let me put on my website. So our product I use is at www.tinovo.shop. Down. Okay, and this is a WhatsApp group for you to join, just in case you haven't joined. This will get you alert to all of our um, live stream or anytime we have sale or anything like that, you will get the alert. And let me make Tara moderator. Hi, Abby. Hi, everyone. Hello, Shadow. Okay, I'm going to make Tara moderators. Okay. Hello, Dashyana. Hi, Tia. Hi, Mania Beauty Bar. Hi, Maria. How do you do it? Preparing the uh, the nail tips. Let me get from this one. Okay. Get from the other set. Today we're doing Scorpio. Hi, Zona. Uchi Nails. Okay, let me see what's my inspiration. Okay, so I really like these colors. Uh, since Scorpio is a water sun, I like the blue background. And you know, I love gold. So I'm going to use gold and blue. Um, I found these pictures. It's really pretty. So my strategy here is I'm going to start with black and white painting. All shading, everything. And then after I've done everything in black and white shade, then I'm going to use stained glass gel and metal effect gel. Make this scorpion go. The rose is going to be blue, gold leaf and everything. So that is my concept. I'm going to start out everything with pigment base. Let me adjust here. Make sure everything's good. Okay. All right, let's get started. So, pigment base over everything. You can use white polish too. Hi, Samila. Wickle, wickle, wickles all the way. Straight stroke. Make sure everything is nice and thin, even. <clears throat> Hi, he been love. Hello, Joe Nails. Good morning.
Yes, I'm using pigment base. Hi, Tanya. You know how it's now say, uh, What's that? Um, because we started going at 5.30 and how it's now say nice, that, um, that, uh, when will I go, uh, at European time again, which is 11 before. I wonder what country, how now it's from because. Uh, she's from Germany. Germany? Yeah. So what time is 5.30 here in, in Germany? I taught Germany. Yeah. I wonder what time is in Germany. I haven't go in 11 uh, a.m. for a while. If, um, if I miss out on Germany, then I definitely have to adjust the time to... You know, back long, last year, before this time a little bit, uh -huh. we used to go on like at 10 a.m. Yeah. I feel like that's when we used to catch her quite a bit. Okay. Morning, yes, yes. Bit, but I feel like somebody's going to jump in and be like, we're well, Germany, we're going to be like, what time is it? And yes. Sure. Okay, I'm, I'm going to spare the pinky because I have no idea. It might be black. So I'm not going to touch the pinky until I'm done with all these three nails. Then oh. at that point, I will decide what the pinky going to be. So it is a quarter till 1 a.m., in Germany? In Germany, right. Oh, now. that's late. Okay, yeah. okay, got it now. Okay. Okay, so let's start designing. We need our black element. We need black art gel for details. We need shadow for coloring and shading. Okay. Thank you, drip on now. That's good to know. Okay, black art gel and shadow. Yeah. Um, I also need a 10 millimeters. I always use 10 millimeter. I also have this 7 and 5 on the side just in case. I need those. And an ombre brush, but I highly doubt that I would need those since the detail can be small. I might just shade with the 7 millimeter too. But I have this just in case I need it. So these are the three brush I might need. 10 millimeter for sure. Okay. Let me adjust the screen a little bit more. To about right here. Early in the afternoon in uh, where Australia. Okay. Well, Australia is good. They're getting ready to. I probably should have a uh, uh, eleven live, just to catch Germany also. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> Actually, it's Monday there. Right. Okay. So, I will start with art gel. Actually, let me start with shadow first. So, it's not too thick. Let's start sketching. So, on sketching, I don't really uh, necessarily need art gel. Because it's going to be a little sloppy. So, I just need a gel polish. That would be fine too. Just give me like a light shade. Gonna pick the middle finger, of course. Okay, let's see the scorpion right here. So, let me push it up a little bit. Okay, it's half this head, like an oval. Okay. 
Okay, there's a hat. These are like a the body, not the hat. And the body will have the little pattern like this. Mm, it's like a so you slant it up. Line a little bit up right like right here. And then you curve in and you repeat that oppositely. You curve a little bit and you slant down. Okay, so there's a mark on the body. Then I'm gonna do the tails. So the tails going about right here. So see, it's made of the tails. Now on the tails, it's easy. It's an upside down V shape. So you draw a V shape, and then you start curving down. Up and down, and you follow the line. Just a V shape, and you start curving. Go along and try to be smaller as you go. Make it smaller as you go. See how easy? I was just sitting here thinking how difficult this looks. <laughs> it looked e it looked difficult. It looked very difficult. But do you see how easy it is when it's break down? It's so easy. See that? It's just so easy. Okay. Now this one is a teardrop. Okay, and then it's have a hook. So a teardrop right here. See a teardrop? And then you do a hook. There. So now you have a hook. Okay. Now, uh, you need a bigger brush. Let's use the filler brush for this. Okay. And some Aston. Can you alcohol too? Dip it in. So now you no longer need the, the oval guy. You already uh, done all the pattern on the Scorpio. So now I just removing this guy line right here. I'm just gonna remove it. That's why you shadow. I want to make sure that everything just like. Um, I just want to shade. But without the oval, this pattern will be very uh, confusing. Because this pattern will go in an oval, it, as you can see right here. See that? That's an oval. So you draw an oval first, so you know where this pattern uh, landed. So now, from here, I am going to curve down. Stop. Here. Curve and down, but slant a little bit. See the dimension? Now here, you follow the curve. One. Two. Three. Four. Okay. Same thing here. One. Two. Three, flow with the oval. Four. <clears throat> now, as my Josie said, I'm getting ready to make a lot of mistakes. What were you erasing the lines with? Oh, with Aston or alcohol. That's up to you. Just a solvent. I use a gel polish right here. 
so it's very light it's very easy to uh, wipe up if i use like an art gel like a gel pen it'd be harder it'd be messier so that's why i use a gel polish i use shadow so it's easier for me to uh, fix anything okay now let's see the claw so the claw is going out in a curved pattern okay so let's draw that curve pattern from here going out curve same thing on the other side going out and i probably would draw the claw on the other side like that This one probably will be best on the other side too. <clears throat> Tino, are you leaving it black and white or are you going to add colors to the design? I'm gonna add color to the design. It just, I start with black and white because it's so easy to shade with black and white. Okay, so I'm done marking it. Now I'm gonna go in. Let's see this one, a curved line, a curve oppositely, and it's like a sway line. So this one is a curved line, and this one is a curve and a sway, okay? Erase your sketches right here. Same thing on this side. And this Scorpio, I see a little T. I didn't know they have T. Teeth? Yeah, a little T, I oh, see. Yeah. Like you know what? Like a like a fan? I'm not sure. I know they got some hellacious. I think they're like mouth pinchers in a way. Really? You know what I mean, they kind of like move like this and grab the shit. That's crazy. Yeah. No wonder now it all makes sense. No one lens, I was like, hmm, that's something about it. But now it all makes sense. Well, yeah, you're not gonna believe what Tanya and Tara said. What was that? He said Scorpios are creepy. Of course, right. that should be no brand. Of course, it's creepy. Lynn sent me a picture today blowing the kids. But I couldn't recognize it. Like, who the heck is this? <laughs> Look like 20 years old. Oh my goodness. No, no. Then I find, oh, it's Lynn with filter. Okay, I get it now. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna erase my mark. I already there, and you know I'm marking this just to help you a little bit. But don't think that you have to mark it. You don't have to mark it. I just do it to target beginners, just in case they have no sense of direction, then they can easily follow these orders. You know, because they need orders. But if you like an artist at heart and you don't need the marking, you can skip the marking. Okay, so I'm curving to the left, and then I curve to the right. This one, full curve all the way here, okay? Now, this one, again, curving a little bit to the right, and then I'm curving to the left. This curve all the way to the left. Now you have a claw. Again, on this side. Ooh, this is cool. Okay, so one curve, two curve, easy. One curve here. Yeah. And then... This one is curving right here. Now, this you go down, you curve in a little bit to the right, to the right. 
Uh, Tino, I was late. Sorry to Thank ask, you but did lap. you top coat the nail before you uh, started with the scorpion? No, I uh, apply a layer of uh, pigment base, and then I go straight on it with shadow. So that's no top coat. Good. Uh, right now, we're not actually like drawing, drawing. We're just sketching just to know the dimension of the Scorpio because the reason why we sketch, because normally we don't really have to sketch every now. It's just that when you look at it, it looks very difficult. The row is somehow overlapping the Scorpio and that just all this thing going on here. I need to use an element that are as thin as shadow because I know I'm going to be erasing stuff. You know what I mean? Because I don't want to have to draw the Scorpio like halfway like this to save room for the leaf, for the rose. I don't want to do that. So I want to draw the entire Scorpio and then I'm going to draw the rose overlapping it and then I have to erase. So you're drawing the, the whole thing that way. You're getting the proportion correct first. Yeah, I got That's everything right. correct. Right. And then and then we will walk into like shading and detail and all that. Okay. So now I need the feet, of course. Let's draw the feet on this side first. So. A curve and a curve, okay. One curve like this. It's like a sway. This one is a curve. Okay, you will repeat that uh, up here. One. Okay, another one. And another one. Okay. Now, here you do another sway. Now, another one up here. Same thing. A sway. <clears throat> and then drag it out for a little feet. Okay. And then you will connect this. Okay. Another one. Same thing. A little sway. And then you go down and up like that for a little feet. Then you connect this from here to here. Okay, we have one last leg. Okay, and a little feet just like this. Okay. And we can do a little bit like right here, but it's not really important. I often neglect the size. Okay. Now this side, this feet right here. So again, we're going to do a, a sway right here right here and then one two three we're gonna draw the legs and we're gonna connect one two three so start out with a sway first and then one curve up here so that's the first leg now the second leg one curve here third leg, one curve here, fourth leg, one curve right here. So we draw the fourth leg first, uh, the first legs first. This one a curve, and then another curve, and then you just extend it out with the little feet. 
This is a beautiful Scorpio, by the way. It really is. I wish you would have been there whenever I got my tattoo done. Really? You got a Scorpio done? Oh my goodness, you have never noticed? You got a freaking yes. Scorpio Where? I cannot believe. I never noticed a Scorpio. And, and, and where is that? You should have. Wow. Oh my God. Wow. You've never noticed that for real? I never noticed it. Let me see. Oh, I, I, I noticed it. It just, it's such an ugly tattoo that I didn't really. Oh my God. Sorry. Yeah, uh, yeah I, I didn't notice That's that. That's what I was saying. You should have. You didn't have to crush my spirit. It's not a pretty tattoo, so I never, like, I, that's why it, care about it. That's why I said I wished you would have been there. Oh, man. See how you let me down? I know. God, and then you crush me. Well, it, it's not your fault. It's the tattoo artist's fault. We have such an ugly tattoo. That's all. It's not your fault. I did it myself. Thanks. Oh. Wow. Wow. It makes sense. A person should never tattoo their own self. Okay. So, now it's time for the roses. Not just on this side. Right here. And, oh, I plan to have some roses right here, but I guess we're out of room. That's good. Okay. So, let's draw the roses. Now, roses are difficult. Roses are not easy. Like at all. Mm, let me let me think about this. Should we just go ahead and do blooming? Blooming will be easier for us. But how do we bloom the background though? Okay, let me think about this. Yeah, let's just draw the rose. Okay. Alright, so Gonna roll a wickle wickle inside. Now, now let me just speak for everybody watching. I know we were all feeling like the Scorpio was gonna be the hard part, and no, the, the Scorpio are easy. easy. The Scorpio are easy. It's just pattern. I already went through all that step, so you just need to when you rewatch it, you you can break it down very easy. But the rows, the row is could be an issue. Okay, so we started out with a, a, a wiggle first. Because the row is layer upon layer upon layers. With drawing, of course. Yeah, let's, let's not do the blooming. Let's do the drawing since it's difficult. Let's do it. Okay, so wiggle it. And then just know that this inside, the people that know how to draw curtain, curtain well would draw this very well. The row is basically a curtain. So, this go in, this go down. Okay. That go down. Do you see the dimension? Mm -hmm. That's the dimension of the inside of the rows. Now, it's have two little petals cover this entire thing. So, let's draw this petal first. Draw sway and then you go down. Draw sway, you go down. All your curtain drawers, this will be very simple. Right. Okay, so you sway down. Okay. Erase this part. And it's have some kind of pedal draping out of it, like that. Then, this is the side of the rose. Okay. Now, this one, again, you just imagine that it's going down right here. Well, not imagine. I already drawn it. Okay, now. From here, it's curved in. And then it wrap around this. And then going down. Okay. Now, before we wrap this around the rows, you see the wrap? This is a wrap. Go, uh, it wrap around. Is that, does that make sense? This one right here is wrapped around the row. So before we draw that, we have to draw all this hugs first. It it's hug it, right. So we have to do this first and then we can grab it. So let's add layer to this rows. One. And since this small row, let's just do one layer and then we can wrap it. There. So I wrap it around. 
Now, many, many things going on here too, though I hate about it. There's more going on here. Okay, so one pair those. Okay. Another petals right here, overlapping this. Okay. Now all of that, this one covered. Oh, so it's wrapped. This one wrapped around all of it, and it's it have low petal cascading. It's like flopping down. This petal right here is like flopping down. You kind of have to understand the petal too. Uh, you should take. You should buy a rose for yourself and then just look at it. <laughs> look at it to understand the petal. So it's it's like this. It's wrapped around here. And it's kind of like flopped down like this. There. So after all that, now that what happened next are very easy. We just add petals randomly one petal right here so we're over the hard part now yeah the inside is hard oh, but the outside we just blindly adding petal on blindly yeah we went from difficult to just throw it just, in there just throw it in there yeah. just throw the petal in there let's see underneath okay so i'm gonna gauge where the rows need to be it's underneath the hook see that it's underneath the hook So far, so good. Now, you might be a little scary on this part. So I'm gonna go over the feet. And then this right here, over behind the uh, stinger. Raise a feet. Probably one more petals. Or maybe I should uh, readjust these petals. Erase this inside acetone. acetone. Shadow are very easy to be erased. Okay. Okay, good, good, good. Now, uh, I'm gonna try to think. Oh, leap, leap. Oh, leap. I'm, I'm love drawing leap. It's so easy. Okay. So let's draw some leaf. Ooh, this one is so elegant. Okay. So leave a uh, very simple a stem for it, like a spine. From here you want to see you have to recognize the beauty of the leaf when you see one. See the end is like crisp and sharp. Okay. The most important part of the wispy leaf. Don't ruin that. It's going out. It's like a curve. It's going out and then it's going in. And I love the, the way this leap is this way. It's different than a leap like this. Like this is an ugly leap. Right. Where the stem and then it's like blunt. And then it's going like whoop. Whoop. It's an ugly leap. Okay. So make it pretty. Yeah, sway makes it look three dimensional. Three dimensional. It, uh, it's elegant. Feminine. Yeah. Okay. Now. Wispy. 
and then shake it through. I know you're very good at it. Now this one, wispy. Then shake it through, just like that. Now, make a leaf. Just like that. Leave right here too. Okay. Okay, now we are ready to shade. Okay, so let's shade this. Um, later on, I do want a moon or something right here too. Some kind of galactic message right here. So Galactic yeah, message? Yeah, like a moon or something like that. Something pretty. Okay, so let's cure this. How about, where's Lens? Where's Lens? I know, right? Where's Lens? After all the months and months of, of hounding and all that, the day is here. You're doing the Scorpio set and dedicated to her. And she's she's MIA. Man. What like the heck? Birthday party is what you're I know, right? Okay. Kia, kia, kia. Yeah, he did draw pretty fast. But remember, I break it all down. So when you, when you, uh, Go along and, and uh, pause it and do it yourself. It's very simple, trust me. But you have to follow every step. You have to make sure that when you sketch it out, whatever I sketch, I want to erase. It's for a reason. Yes, it's very important for you to do it yes. because if you watch it, um, I do that too. I I watch and I absorb. But for me to do it. I, I discover different things when I'm doing it. Right. Beneficial. You may even come up with something better than, you know. So right now, I'm using shadow still. I'm going to shade everything. Well, that is a soft shirt. Thank you. That's what I was thinking. Tanya passed out from all the late nights. Mm, this is a <clears throat> filler brush that I'm using to shade. I just tap it like this. And that the shade. See that? Isn't it fun? Using the right brush, easy. See how I shade? Okay. Let me zoom in so you can see. Just for a little bit and then I zoom back out. Mm, let's do it down here. I'm gonna put some gel right here. Okay. This is my 10 millimeter brush. Now I'm using a filler brush. Dry, nothing on it. I'm just tapping it like this. And my shadow is beautiful shade like this. See that? Easy breezy. So we do it to all of it. You can stop and shade in between if you don't remember your pattern. Or you can draw all the way through like this and then shade at the end.
And remember, you don't need any top coat or anything like that to do this. Because it's already in the shadow. You just have to get the right brush and tap on it. Then I'm gonna put like a very thin amount of shadow right here. What do you dip your shading brush in? Nothing. It's dry. You don't need anything. Dry brush. Completely dry. Because now if you don't have shadow, it depends on what kind of gel you use. Because there's some gel you couldn't shade like this. So that if that happens, you might want to use like some top coat or something. But the one that I'm using, shadow, that's a bit of a shading. Shadow is a unique creature now. along this line and along this line too okay tap it tap it out Yeah, my shadow before, it couldn't do this. It's too opaque. But this shadow right here, it have about 10% sheer in it. So I can just tap it out like this. Seems like with the shading, you would charge more, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Of course. Could you give them something three-dimensional instead of something flat? Definitely you have to jot more. That's the whole point is when you take in something and you make it realistic. Oh, yes. You have to charge more all the way. Because they can settle for something that doesn't have shading. They don't have to have shading. Shading makes things beautiful. Definitely have to charge more for shading. Okay, now, when I finish with the leaf, I'm going to take shadow and color everything in, even the background. Ten millimeter I'm using, because I'm comfortable with ten millimeters. Some people will be comfortable with the a seven, but definitely not the twenty millimeter with this. 20 millimeter is only used for drawing lines. For coloring like this, you have to use something shorter. I think most people will be uh, comfortable with the 7 or the 5 for this. But just because I use the 10 for so long, I love the 10, it's my favorite brush. Yeah, I know, right? Sweet yes. He said the rose was difficult and then he executed it with ease and perfection. Oh, that's just shading. Shading are easy. It's just that the dimension of the rose, the inside of the rose, it's always make me a little bit intimidate. This part right here, where like the petal flopping down and all that, I always a little intimidated by it. But when I get the pattern down, then the shading is easy breezy. Easy Yeah. Shade are easy. This is my favorite part. Uh, hot part are over, really. The coloring in is the part where you chit chat with your client, drinking wine, but don't drink too much. But yeah, drinking wine and all that, having fun. 
Couldn't you at least grunt or something to make them think you're struggling? Actually, let's skip the one. Oh, this is so difficult. You just color it in. You just color it in. Only the sketch is difficult. Not this part. This part are easy. This part take longer than the sketch, but easier. Just because it take longer, that doesn't mean that it's more difficult. It's it's easier. It's a no brainer. But the, the the sketching now that that is uh, you have to understand pattern. But you don't need to understand pattern because I already did it. You can just uh, follow through. Okay, this one too. It's, it's a little bit like tattooing almost. Well, I feel like it's a tattoo pattern. It, it kind of is, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't look. Well, a, a like scorpion is like badass, so I feel like it needs a tattoo pattern. Or at least other people's tattoos need a tattoo pattern. Yeah. So right now, of course, we still have the scorpion to shade, but right now, let's give it a key. We done the rose, we done the, uh, we still have the leaf and the uh, scorpio, but let's key this. Okay, move on to this. Color in the rose. Right here, right here. Now, where, so where do I put on the shadow? Again, you just have to understand the petal pattern. This petal obviously laying on top of two of this. So obviously there is a shadow right here. Now this petal right here, what happened is, it's go like this and then it's whoop in. So this, the shadow right here, because this piece is overlapping this piece. Now you see this P is overlapping this P, so there have to be shadow here. So you have to understand what's going on. You cannot just blindly, you cannot just blindly put on shadow. Shadow and require an understanding of what kind of object this is. And you just have to add shadow wherever there's supposed to be a shadow cascade. Wherever it would darkness be. Right. Well, you have to understand what, what overlap what, you know, and the the way the light hit it. But if you if it's hard for you to understand, that's fine. Cause I already did it. You can just you can just copy through. But the more you do it, the more you would develop more of an understanding to it. It's more like a, it will become like a muscle memory. That's why doing it is very important. Cause just understanding it is not enough. You have to like. Do it yourself, just so you can experience it yourself. At least that's how I learn anyway, is I have to actually do it. Well, then you probably, after you do it, it's easier to see. It's easier for you to see and analyze. Yeah. Yeah. And you can make your own. Like most of our viewers, they're making their own stuff right now, which I'm so proud of. It's because they have developed an understanding. After many, many practice, they now have develop an understanding of pattern because they are really they are the same they really are the same they have the same structure the same shade they really are the same but you have to do enough so you know same like driving you can not just take a theory test and be done you have to do a practice test too because the more you try the more good you are and then after you try for a long time, you can do things that you're not supposed to. Like U-turn and all that in all the illegal place. Yeah, you can do that. You can drive drunks. Yeah. So so all you need to do is just do it long enough that you can develop that muscle memory. So now you can make it your own. Honey, I, I apologize for... Now you can drive tractor, you can drive boat, you can drive anything else that you don't have license for. Just because you drive car long enough, you develop a basic understanding of where to turn, when to brake, stuff like that. Oh, honey, I, I, I apologize. I, I missed a little bit of 
led you. What mm-hmm. I usually say before those adventures is, we can afford the ticket. Right, right, right. Right, nothing said that I'm good at any of that. And then you're definitely not, so. Like, 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 whenever people ask me, so how do you know where to shadow? It's like, it's like me driving and somebody asked me, well, how do you know when to brake? Well, you cannot just blindly brake. You just have to know that when you're about to bump into another car and cause an accident, that is a time to brake. Wow. But how do we know? How how do we know that we're gonna about to bump into that person? Well, you have to try long enough to know. Just one when one car facing the other car driving ninety mile per hour and the other car do the same thing, well, if you're good at math you would know that at some point they will uh crash into each other's. So just like shadowing. Shadowing, you just have to know that when an object is overlapping an object, then it needs a shadow right there. Like darker. Right. in my eye okay so now let's shadow this part Lynn's finally made it oh Lynn's hi Lynn's gosh today is delicate to you where were you gosh So now I'm running out of all the easy space. So now I have to slow down so I can squeeze into all this intricate small little space right here. this through and color this into connect it up here same things Carefully color it through. Now we're all like, what the hell's going on here? We're looking at black scorpions. And somehow this is becoming inverted. And- yeah, scorpion gonna be gold. No, no, Sassafras, he's gonna, he's gonna paint the scorpion gold. Yeah, it's gonna be gold. But I start out with black and white, just so it's easy for everything to be shaded and all that. Okay. Now, before I, um, cured it, you see this part right here? See that? See? See, it's thick right at the tip. I'm taking an ombre brush and I remove in gel. I don't want that to be thick right at the tip. And it's like that because on the side also, because the nail is three dimensional, so gel is liquid, so it's obviously going to drip down from the side and drip to the tip. So you just take an ombre brush and you just remove it. Let's add a little bit right here. It's take a little too much off. Now, when it's done, I'm gonna go ahead and cure for 60 seconds. Okay, 
get this. Let me drink some water very right quick. Yes, in the shadow. Okay, again. And we might not need op gel too. We might do everything with shadow. I cannot wait to Sagittarius. After Scorpio is Sagittarius is my sign. You guys have no clue. I'm not gonna draw a centaur on the nail. Do you think women like centaur on the nails? I don't know, it's kinda weird. If I do a centaur, I'm probably a female centaur. Only after you've crushed my soul and spirits. Oh, because of the Scorpio. So it doesn't have a Scorpio uh a scorpion tattoo, but I never noticed it. Well, I do notice it. I just didn't know it was scorpion. I just thought it chicken scratch. And I thought it doesn't that it's not his fault because it's the tattoo artist's fault. But he did it himself, so now it's awkward. Now you're like, oh, <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. I'm just going to have it removed now. <laughs> it says you've taken inspiration from her Scorpio set she did. Oh. She's Even oh. worse, he was trying to go on live with you so he could <laughs> do a live interaction with you. Ooh. And then we couldn't get a hold of you. I know, right? I was like, well, Lynn, let's go it live. Was super late. He tried to he tried to get a hold of you for like 15, 20 minutes at least. Lynn did a Scorpio with <coughs> a red rose. I don't know why, but when I click on Scorpio, that is like Scorpio and roses. Like, Everywhere, I don't know what the Scorpio have to do with the rose. It's a little confusing to me, but it's a lovely Scorpio and rose, Scorpio and rose, like everywhere. Hmm. Okay, this one might be uh, black. Only thing I could associate. Actually, let's do that black on this. Roses have thorns and prick you, and so do uh, that. Like a beauty, uh, oh, like no, a, like a, like a, every rose happy tone. Right, right. Just like every, every cowboy have his stabber. Every uh-huh. night have his dawn. Every, every cowboy sing the sad song. <laughs> Sing their sad song. I have no idea. The lyric. I just okay. remember every rose have its tone. Just like every just like cowboy sings a sad sad every song. Every cowboy sing a sad song. <laughs> every night have its dawn. <laughs> Hello, Kendiff. Okay. K 
Okay, let's uh go on the leaf. Now I know that this leaf, um, is pretty dark, but I'm not going to make it dark because remember we're gonna do it gold, so I'll be easy on it. Every cowboy. Why am I keep singing this? Okay, so again, take a fill of brush and tap it. To what? To your mat, mat it. Mm. It's gonna be one of those. It's very in. It's gonna pop. Not that it's not already looking better than my Scorpio tattoo, but I'm all right. It doesn't take much to get better than that. I'm, oh, I yes. mean, I'm an artist, and I haven't even dared to tattoo on myself. I still feel insecure about it. And you have the audacity <laughs> to take a tattoo pen and tattoo on yourself. How dare you? How dare you? It's outrageous. <laughs> it's absolutely outrageous. Okay. I'll forget this leaf right about here. Would the sponge work dapping the excess shadow off? Uh, too big. Even shadow applicator. A uh, shadow applicator is too hard. A brush is more um, is more reasonable. Cause a brush has bristle. A brush is smaller, and a brush can be washed. Because again, you do want to have to keep it clean all the way through, or else when you dab it, gel color will contaminate it. So you need something that you can constantly wash. Okay, time to shadow the Scorpio. Just a little bit though. Yeah, it's just, I want to see the tattoo. See, I, I, I was waiting for someone to... A tattoo is on Dustin's uh, leg. It's pretty high up there though. That have to be... Mm, you can watch it, but... Gotta be on on the fan or something, something appropriate for it. <laughs> See, until this point, I need to wash my brush. I'm constantly washing it. Cause your brush needs to be clean. So when you dab on it, it's thinning the gel out. It's not adding the gel in. It's, if that makes sense to you. You need something that you can just tap, 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 like that. Okay, wash it. La, la, la. Ah, this is so depressing. Alexa, play. No copyright playlist Pandora. Alexa, play no copyright playlist Pandora. Okay. Oh, I, I didn't. Say thank you or please or anything. No, it's a robot. You don't need to say thank you. Take that it have no emotion. You wait till they come get us. You know what? I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't even care. <laughs> if they have a human zoo for me and feed me like three times a day, I'd be happy. I'd be like, all right. No, 
it's a little tricky up here. Just do only one side first. Huh? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I like the bike and the white. I think it's awesome too. You do? Yeah, it just has this look to it, man. I I really want to make blue and gold though. But you go on and just it looks good now. But I mean, you obviously you've seen the letter, level of the artwork that I'm content with. I know, right? That's so sad. <laughs> Yeah, I had it permanently put on there. It's okay though. Do you ever know anyone who tattooed their name on them? Their own name? Yeah. Yeah, most of us get our best tattoos when we're drawing. Have you have I ever tell you about the Chinese tattoo story? No. Mm, when I still working at my mom's shop, mm, this is like mm, like a, a million years ago. Uh there's two girl coming in and she say to me, she said to me, mm, no no that I'm Vietnamese. Mm, she said, Can you draw my name? on my nail in Chinese mm -hmm. and I should say well I'm not Chinese I'm Vietnamese so I don't know how to try it in Chinese but I'm too busy so I don't have time to explain all that so I say to her I say of course yes so now that I don't know Chinese so I'm literally just made up some word you know make it pretty some characters right but at this point she should be ooh and all but no she kind of silent and I'm like hmm so, so her friend come by and look at it and that, and she say, that's pretty, but that didn't look like, uh, what you had on your back. <laughs> so she have a tattoo of her name in Chinese on her back. <laughs> oh, no. So me very quickly respond. I'm come from a different region of China. Well, how do you know? I know that China have many regions. If she doesn't know anything about China, because she awfully dumb, she asked me if I can try her name in Chinese. Oh so I immediately say, I'm from a different region of China. And they were happy with that answer. And there they go. They should not have been happy with that answer. Their next question should have been, you don't know what part of Japan or China he's from. Oh my goodness. All I know is that it's different than her name in her bag. And to me, that is my quick response. I'm from a different region of China. You did good. What I should have told in the beginning is, I'm not Chinese, but then I have to explain. I have to be like, well, in Vietnam, we, we only uh, play with alphabet. So we don't have fun lettering like, we don't have fun like lettering. the Chinese. Oh the, the Chinese have fun lettering. We don't. But you see, that takes like two minutes. Like one or two minutes, and I don't have time for that. At that moment, I'm ready to rock and roll. So, so I just say, of course. I just didn't expect her to have a tattoo of her name in Chinese on her back. So, there I am, come yeah, from a different yeah, region a of China. Le good learning lesson, though, wasn't it? No, I probably do the same thing now. What's in the cup? In the cup, Aston. Uh -huh. Acetone, yeah, I just keep it clean. I use it to keep my rugs clean. I don't use Aston to to do this because the gel that I use are very special. It's do this for me. All I need to do is have in a dry brush and keep it clean. I don't so you're want removing the white because it's black under. Removing the white. Oh wait, never mind. No, what I do is when I tap on the gel, it expands and it's light enough. Okay, now I'm going to use the same brush 
the feel of brush and I just take a little bit of shadow just a little bit and I will brush right here one two three four five one two three four five Then I'm gonna use a 10 millimeter brush just to add a deeper part of the gel in here. I'm gonna clear this. It is looking at beginning. Hi. <coughs> okay, let's shade this and we're done with shading. Yay! Okay. Did, did, you, did you know I brought you a surprise? I didn't. See? Oh. Well, until the Scorpio thing. Now it's right. no longer. It's going to be me. Damn them, Scorpio. They always have their way, on not they? <laughs> One of our very good friends is a Scorpio. Quite a person. Who's that? Ambers. Oh. Man, we know her from the ground zero. See, I, I don't we know. know her when she was nobody, and now she's the most successful real well, she's estate. she's always been somebody. She's always been somebody. And we knew that. Yeah. But she had high ambition. She was shooting for the star. And she got it. Oh, she's young. She didn't even start yeah. yet. Yeah. Didn't she have her babies on? She did have her baby. Yeah, she did have she her baby. Twin babies on the nine eleven. She just had another baby, just to drop the man that she with, so he can go anywhere. Blend this out. Yeah, Clean your days, brush. These days, honey, they can just Google some. They would have. They would have called you on your bluff. Google what? Her name in Chinese. I know, right? So but lucky you. again, they don't know what region of China I come from. I could come from Wu Tan. I just made it up. I could I come from like Wu Tan Mountain, and in Wu Tan Mountain, the population is only two hundred people, and we speak an ancient language. That an ancient language. right that China understood, but they cannot write like us. You right, see, yeah, I, yeah. I'm a different kind of Chinese. I'm a rare kind of Chinese. Rare Chinese from Wu Tan Mountain. That's kind of the look I got from the guy yesterday when we ordered Chinese food. Right. This. I can tell he had expectations for you. Okay, I'm ready for coloring. So, are you ready? They are, although they do like the black and white. Stunt glass gel number seven. A blue? A blue, honey. A blue. A blue Scorpio? A blue for me, not a Scorpio, just a, just a flowers. A blue flower. Blue flower for me. Have you ever heard of the old roses are red? Violet or blue? blue. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I don't care about that. Okay. In Tina Wood, roses are blue this month. <laughs> Hear this? Now, for our scorpion, I feel like yellow oxide number nine, all the way. 
It's about to get interesting, isn't it? All the way. Ooh. Now feel free to remove excess gels. Now this color is a base because later on I'm gonna uh, encap it with gold. So I want to base that uh, sort of similar to the gold. I don't care if it's different. I just want uh, prepping for the gold part. Lastly, the 17-year-old child got a tattoo. Oh, God, I almost forgot. I almost forgot. 17 years old? Right. That's the right age to have a tattoo, isn't it? She, I, I feel like a person really should... What did she got? Until they're at least 12. Did she got no regret? No regret? I don't know. I think it was something on his face. Oh. Oh, in the face? Uh, it's, it's no regret, isn't it? <laughs> Get this. Yeah, I'm digging these colors. Okay, that's mean that this finger have to be like a blue galaxy of some sort. Galaxy. Blue galaxy. Because Scorpio is a water sign, that's why blue have to be in there. <coughs> mm. Do you know that a lot of people mistake Scorpio for a fire sign? No. Yeah, Scorpio is well, a water sign. I thought they were fire sign. No, they're not. They're water sign. They're water sign? Yeah. Scorpio is water Okay, now. Blue here. Here. Okay, now shade the blue a little bit with a deeper blue. Let's use stained glass gel number eight. What nice? Oh yeah. Okay, now this is a deep blue. Look at that color, honey. Yes, ma'am. Just add in the blue just to make the rose richer. And really, for us people that were born around this time, uh -huh. this means our parents had a wonderful Valentine's Day. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice to know. 
So it's Valentine Baby. Yes, no, no. Oh, Va- Valentine in in the court, and then Baby is a uh, um, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving Baby. Valentine in the court and Thanksgiving Baby. Long time ago, when I uh, astro projects, I have gone back to my uh, the time that I was uh, in this. Um, is intercept is a good way to say Inter- intercept? Yeah, the time when when my mom and dad were. Mm. Oh no 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 no. Um, oh. Interception, no. Interception is... is conception. Good. Conception, yes. yeah. I was entering my conception, and I witnessed my conception. You can't Yeah. <laughs> okay, Lou here. Okay, have it all the way down. And I literally just use a sample to, uh, to shade it and blend it. Just because stained glass gel are very easy to blend. You can literally blend it with anything. Keep the amount of gel on it uh, to a minimum. Okay. Conceive. Conceive is a good way. Yes, conceive. Okay, get this. Let's see. Right here. The gold definitely have to be shaped with brown too. Okay. That's two. Blend it out. Here. Yeah. Now it's time to shade the Scorpio a little bit. Let's use the glass gel uh, brown. Number 12. Okay, now. Let's see, let's see. Okay, so uh, make some shadow for the leaf. Now, I we already have shadow on the leaf, but I add color into it just to make... Just to add a certain uh, richness to it. Did you read the one about... Uh, about what? Leaves gonna, gonna be gold? Yeah, at all the yellow you see, it's gonna be gold. I just have to try my best to make it look goldish first. So... Mm, because all this detail, I don't want to make it all gold because then it's going to be all solid without detail or textures. So it's very important to me to make the the background kind of goldish so I can actually um, detail with gold instead of painting on everything. Like I don't want to cover all this leaf with gold because then there'll be less detail for me. Shade it out. I'm so glad I end up doing the Scorpio. Now, if you think I procrastinate, you wait until I do Sagittarius. Cause I am so nervous on Sagittarius. I have no idea what to do. Something to do with the centaur. Something to do with hunting. 
something to do with fires. Now, Capricorn are easy. I have rocked a Capricorn set before that go viral. When I first started to, my first set that are, are viral about four years ago on Capricorn. The set, because I keep posting and posting every single day, I barely got any like. I got like nothing. Mm. Like about one or two people follow me a day. Sometimes I got no one follow me in a day. And when I post a Capricorn set, I'm telling you, I have 5,000 people follow me in about one or two days. Of course, after that, everything go back to normal. But that is a set that started all. That is a set that caused everyone attention. After that, people actually know me. They be like, oh, you're Tino. You didn't that Capricorn set. Of course, right now, it doesn't look really good. But five, four years ago, it looked darn good for social media. Did I, did, a, I did on Annabelle. You did a Gemini set, didn't you? Uh, Gemini's, yeah, I did. <laughs> Gemini, I did it twice. <laughs> yeah, so I can't wait to drop Capricorn again. I'm gonna make sure it look fires. But of course, you just don't know. Something that worked five years ago, it might not work now. Cause now they're all kind of 3D. That's why I did, I make it kind of 3D. Kind of like my Taurus set. But it have horn and everything too. It's pretty awesome. I like everything you do is awesome. Yeah. But after that set, Everything start to picking up right there. Just one set. I was posing for three years. No resort or anything. But that one set have started everything. Just be, when people see something they like, I guess I like. Mm-hmm. Until today, I'm still surprised what people like. Sometimes I post a set, I don't think that it got a lot of like and it got like a lot of like. And sometimes I verse, uh, sometimes I post a set and I was pretty sure it's gonna go viral, but it doesn't. Very interesting how people, where people mine up the, ma- mine up the majority. And then there's the variable that, you know, they control where your stuff lands. Yes, also Instagram does control your, uh, your algorithm. This row, I'm gonna add a little brown here too. I'm gonna take time on it. Actually, I'm gonna go in real fast. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to take a little time on it. Finger. Okay. Yeah, I feel like this is pretty advanced. This? Yeah. Mm, drawing mm, intermediate. As long as you're not drawing a face, it's not really advanced. When you draw the face, that that advanced. And depending on what kind of face too. Mm. I feel like this Christmas, I'm gonna do one intricate set, probably Christmas story or something. Mm. But I don't want to do too much, uh, like crazy advanced set. I want to do intermediate set. Something easy for everyone to do. Fun and easy. Okay, this. Oh, 
work on the last one before we head to the next step, which is highlight for the uh, scorpion. And sometimes you should pick a spot where you put a uh, shadow into because it's pretty. Mm -hmm. You can do that too. If you think it's pretty, put in shadow right there. It doesn't really need to be right neither. It just have to be right when you work with different layer like the rose. Color this through. What is going on here? I have a little drip. Oh, gosh. Take care of this. Okay, now I'm going to mix a uh, light, light yellow. I need art gel and I need white art gel. I need this. Hi, Tia Deb. Okay, I'm gonna take a white art gel. Take a little bit of white art gel out. Now I'm gonna mix it with um let's see yellow. I'm gonna mix it with yellow. You see this is a very cold yellow. I want it warmer. Put a little bit of orange into it. a little bit to the touch okay make it warmer good now that what we're gonna use next blow the orange Of the yellow. I have a little boo boo right here. A boo boo. I have a little boo boo right here. I was neglecting this side. Gosh, it looks like my leg now. I didn't clean it up. No drip of shadow. I have to file it. You see how solid shadow is? So you can file it. So, with this 
bright bright yellow that we also warm it up with a little orange you're gonna pick it up and you're gonna add some highlight in to the scorpion and the leaf Do the same to the other side. Is it trippy looking? It is. Almost, almost looks like it glows. Oh yeah. Awesome. Yeah, that's the first Pisces set that I do. Mm. The next Pisces set will be very beautiful. That is just the first one. Mm. When I dapple with Zodiac, but the more I do, the the Taurus set is the one that set it up. Cause when it go viral, I like I gotta start taking this very seriously, and I did. Mm. Every set after that, I take it very seriously. Except for the uh, Gemini set, I go a little crazy. Highlight right in here too. Oh, there's some dust right here from filing. Clean it later. Kill this, guys. Alcohol, please. Not for drinking, of course. Only for nails. Clean up my dust. I don't use acetone because it's risky. Some of these shading are very delicate. Sometimes acetone can wipe it off. Anywhere that have shading, this means that the gel is really, really thin. It can be wiped off. Or it can be, become very inconsistent. So that, I use alcohol. 90%. It's better with highlight, isn't it? You should know. You do makeup. No, oh, Lisa said my daughter is a Leo, and my favorite daughter is a Sagittarius. Oh, really? Yeah, the good one. She said I can't wait to do a Sagittarius set. Now Leo is pretty good too. People love the Leo set. The I was decided to make it rainbow. People love it. Mm. Next year I gotta do something better on the Leos. I was a little busy at that time, so. Okay, you, you I, I did. The realistic, beautiful looking tiger? Uh, the the lion. lion, yeah, I did on TikTok. I decided to make it colorful. Anything colorful is pretty. It's kind of like a cheat in a way. I did it in all rainbow colors. Anything that are rainbow is beautiful.
Sassafras is my favorite daughter-in-law to say, see? Oh, yeah? Yeah. Everybody's see, got Sag- everybody loves Sagittarius. Right, right. Sagittarius are awesome. Remember, you got to get busy on Valentine's Day to have some good Sagittarius. Yeah. I forgot what was my moon sign. Your moon sign is a Scorpio moon sign. Oh, you try upon it. chaos. Is Mine is a Virgo and I try upon orders. Doesn't have to have chaos in his life Scorpio. to keep him sane. Keep he needs drama, he needs em- to be emotional. Mine is opposite from Dustin. Mm. I like orders i like to complete chore and when i'm complete all my chore i'm happy i like a normal unassuming life which is i just very different than dustin that's why we get so what's like i would get along get yeah we get perfectly along see how how different this is from this by just one little highlight highlight are awesome everybody should like highlight See how different this is? Look at that. It looks so fancy. Does this look a little... Mm, I don't know. Let's make it pretty. See how fancy this look? It looks low. <laughs> I'm almost too afraid to put the gold on it now. It looks too pretty. Prettier than the gold, almost. It Hello, Cecilia. Hi, Cecilia. Thank you, Tia. She says, beautiful, Tia. Thank you, Tia. A little spun right in here. Then some highlight right here on this side. Oh! Yes! 5,000 people like... Oh my God! My post go virus! 5,000 people like my post! I... What just posted? I posted at 5. What time is it now? It is 7.18. 7.18. Can you do me a favor? What's that? Oh no. You want me to... Calculate it for me. Cat. Oh, I don't know how to do that. Hold on. 7.18. Post at 5. I actually pull at 5.09, so let's say 5 o'clock, 5 o'clock to 6, 6 o'clock to 7, that is uh, 120 minutes, yeah. 120 plus 18, One eight. Uh, divided by 9, oh, minus 9, minus 9, I suppose it at 9, okay, so 129, mm. Take 5,000 and divide it by 129. Ooh, quadruples. Very nice, very nice. Put some highlight right here. What Leslie say? She's saying that her son's excited to see his sign done next. He's so keep telling me when. Yeah. He sees Tino's lines. Oh, tell tell him um mm, I'm on my A game because that also is my son. I gotta make that like the best of the best of the best, better than anything. But you see, when we approach it. Pressure situation like that. But I did say the same thing with the Gemini. And that was not the best set. I'm so nervous on the uh, on the Sagittarius. 
What if it's not the best set, Dustin? It will be. Well, you know what? It won't be the best set. Because you're going to do something similar in right. the future, and that'll be better. Right. Highlight for the T for the little thing. There. A little highlight for the leg. Let's see. Take care of this. This is the second best set in your eyes, and mine is the first. Okay. I am going to mix some for the blue. We cannot neglect the rose. Gotta make it pretty, too. So, white. And blue art gel. And this blue art gel is one of the brighter blue that I have. Brighter than all my color, brighter than everything that I have. I just recently uh, realized that. Cut. It's not a uh, warm blue like most blue. Cut a warm blue, you mix it with white, it becomes periwinkle. A bright, bright blue, a colder blue, mix with white, it becomes aqua. I'm going to mix it with white. Blue and white art gel. Mix it again with more white. I want it really, really light. Lisa wanted me to tell you she did the galaxy snowflake. Yes. And that her suck compared to your life. Oh, do it again. First time, do it again. Do it again. More white. Mm -hmm. I want this to be very, very light. Lighter. Mm -hmm. That's steady. Yeah. Okay. Now. Now this. Let's shade this blue. Well, so we start, start right in here, enhance all these details. Oh, I forgot to uh, wash it. It's had some dust on, on it. Take out some alcohol and wash this. Okay. I actually have some dust blending on it. This blue is not uh, light enough. I want more white. I should put only a tiny bit of blue, like a pinch. Put too much blue because I was excited. Let's just mix half of it. Yeah, that's why I want. Really light, light, light. Simply Nail Design. Hi, Simply Nail Design. <clears throat> Lens wants to know if you can paint uh -huh. the initials LV, LV underneath it. And whenever you see it, you will always remember her. What? No. I don't think we got to do that. We're, we're not oh, going no. to get her anyway. I'll no. paint it right in the back of the nails. Right, right. And every time we see it, we're going to be like, oh, God. And don't you ask me to send this to you. 
You can you can look at it. I, I can send you pictures. See how I prevent uh, future problems. See that. LV. Is that Lynn's, uh, what is her last name? Uh, Wagner. Oh my God. It's just no, like, no, wait, wait, Valentina. It's just like my cousin all over again. My cousin, Lin Linda Vo. <laughs> Linda Vo. And she has a salon called LV Nails. Oh my God. I was like, yeah, right. It's not LV. It's Linda Vo. <laughs> it's, it's LV from China. She's so proud of it too. She's like, I have a salon. It's LV now. I'm like, yeah, right. It's Linda Vo. It's not Louis Vuitton. <laughs> I bet a lot of people make that mistake too. Everybody go to LV now because it's, you know, it's LV. That'd be so fun to put LV in the back, that's it would. to delegate it for someone. That's that's cool. Oh my god. But what what if when I do a search? When I do a search, someone want me to put the initial on it. <laughs> no, it have to be my initial. It have to be T. Oh my god. My my initial is TV. That is so lame. TV. That is my initial. Pretty, pretty, this one. Hello, Cafe Nails. Hi, Cafe Nails. They want to know how your hair looks today. Did you have bad hair day yesterday? Mm, I had bad hair day yesterday. Today, I'm perfect. Flawless. Flawless. Drop dead gorgeous. <laughs> After so many hairspray, drop dead gorgeous. <laughs> Movie ready. Oh. Sweet. Download one, we'll snuggle up and... No, movie star, not oh, porn. God. Movie star. I'm ready to be a movie star. Yeah. What were you thinking? I was taking movie night and hot chocolate. Oh, I thought you could not think of me as a porn star. It's a movie star, it. like Carol Burnett. Carol Burnett, oh. Movie I star. No, that is... That is... What? Yeah. I love Carol Burnett. Right, she's funny, but she's not... Porn star material. No, I want to be a porn star. I want to be a movie star. Oh, okay. You can do both. No, I don't want to be a porn star. That was back then before I got popular on social media. Now I already popular on social media. I don't need to be a porn star. I can be something better. I have better dream now. You have better expectations. I have better dreams. Goals. Yeah. I'm gonna be a movie star. <laughs> okay. Abby says she just got back. We gotta start over. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Abby. Blue Galaxy. Which is easy. I actually went over Galaxy days ago. Shined it. Pikmin Bay. This will be the combination that make uh, Galaxy. Diamond Flash, but not toward the end. I'm starting to use Diamond Flash more often now. I get in a Diamond Flash kick. I get into this mode when... Mm, of course, you know, I like matte. But the background, I would diamond flash on and it'd be so flashy. I'd be in that mode now. Let me see. See how it looks so far. Okay, so we're going to add some gold detail. And it. So, mm, before I'm working on this, I want to matte all of this. But I'm not going to use Shandit. I'm going to use Teflon matte. I mean, I'm not going to use matte. I'm going to use Teflon matte. 
because I want everything to be chrome free. So if I were to make any metallic design, nothing would stick onto my background. This is repel chrome and it repel pigment. So one coat of tap one matte on everything. Keep it thin because this is not a finished coat. It's just a coat for you to separate the layer so you can do something else with it. I'm thinking chrome design of some sort. <clears throat> yeah. Teflon mat is very thin, so take advantage of that. As long as it's not a finished layer. Now, a finished layer, yeah, you can do a little thicker. Mm. But if it's not a finished layer, do thin. That's what is it created for? Thin so it can sneak up in between layers without causing any major problem. Sometimes when I use a, a coat that I take, I, I get sometimes I get discouraged by it too because it's not a finished coat, it's just a coat in between. Kill this. This too. Galaxy. Galaxy? Yeah. So I already put some pigment base right here. Now remember that our shandy is bl blooming gel now. Mm. If you don't have shandy, you can use any type of blooming gel. Galaxy to match its colors. Sand it. Take it out. Light in Leon. I am so happy that Sandit can bloom again. I was so discouraged when Sandit lost its blooming ability. I was like, what? What the heck is what is a no point? Even though it's a really good top coat, I want it to be special. I want it to, to be different, unique. Okay, now I'm gonna use seven millimeters. I'm trying to debate with myself should I use blue, blue colors? No, it's just use white. Okay, a galaxy. I'm gonna clear this. Okay, 
uh, I am going to apply one coat of stained glass gel, the lightest colors. Number seven, the aqua colors. This color right here. This stained glass gel. Just for anyone who doesn't know stained glass gel. Here this. Also, stained glass gel can take pigment, so I'm gonna put pigment right after this here. Thank you. For the pigment that I'm using, it will be uh, blue neon pigment. This is also a very bright blue too. I I would say that, yeah, that is really really bright. Okay, so I'm gonna use pigment brush, and I need a paper towel. So I don't have any color on my brush. That blue, smudge it down. 55. 55, good. I'm up to 6,000, that's good. That is a vial post. First time I used hashtag in a month too. So that hashtag should took up like wildfire. Yeah, I have a new hashtag on my post. Let me think about this. Let me try to think about this. I want to make cloud. I'm going to make some cloud. Some clouds? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to make some cloud. Art gel, probably the best. No, let's use pigment base. Okay, I'm going to make some cloud. <laughs> to pay tape. Okay, I'm gonna take a dry brush. There's nothing on this brush. This is an oval brush. Milky color to even it out. I think you should start recommending that they use two pay tape on their nail stands. On the nail stand? Okay. Two pay tape. I feel like it would have to work really good. What is it? You know, two pays. What is toupee? A hairpiece. Oh. A wig for men. A wig for men? Yes. A toupee. Oh, a wig for men. Oh, how yeah. hilarious. Okay. That makes sense. Oh, a wig for men. Do you think that one day I might use a toupee, Dustin? Yeah. I would die. I would die. Yeah. Yeah. I would kill myself right away. I'd be like, no, I would not wear a toupee. I'd rather die. Wow, see, the thing is, is you got thick, thick hair on your head. Yes. And then you don't have any anywhere else on your body, hardly. I love my feather hair.
I'm ready through. I'm trying to think of something. I want it to be like a nebula. A nebula. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> She's crazy. Are you doing the star constellation? Yes. But right now I'm I'm, I'm on the verge of something. Oh. I, I have no idea why. I'm just I have no idea what. I'm just, I'm just on the verge of something. I won't Shh. Talk. Thank you, Lord, for the milky. Okay, this. Oh, wait. Forgot this one. Here it is. Okay. I'm gonna clean my brush. And I need yellow. And let's, it's a little bright. Let's tone it down with purples. Mustardy now. Mustardy. Mustardy. Let's dust it lightly. Let me see. Dust it lightly on here. Now, clean this. I'm gonna contrast it with a little more blue. Very lightly feathers. Now, 
it is time to cure this. Oh, wait. There's nothing to cure. Time some diamond flash. Let's weigh a little bit on that. We go back to that. Have to do this one first. Okay. I need metal fat gel. Let's see white. You got proposition by a mermaid. I got a proposition by a mermaid. Yes, yes. Just letting you know. And better than our last mermaid. Right. Is she asked me to pay or she she offered to pay? even better than that. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Uh, you notice I said proposition. Proposition. Right, right. Something is happening. <gasps> I forgot to kill it, Dustin. Uh-oh. Oh. I forgot to kill my gel. Honey. It's okay. It's okay. It is okay. It's okay. I got you a treat. So you're oh, okay. damn it. Thank God that it's going to take. Well, if it not take, then it will bleed right away. Then I will know it. So I don't know how I feel about this. It's okay. But well, now you got us all on the edge of our seats. Well, will, you, will you let us know when it's okay? Yes, it's okay now. Okay. I have a plan. I'm just gonna cover up all the pleading. I can't believe I forgot. Okay, so now it's official that it's gonna be gilded with gold. All the legs and everything too, darn it. So neglectful. I hope I get some tips. Gosh, from Becky. I hope Becky, in front of Becky, I wouldn't even gas. I try to be under control. Lynn say, here's a tip. Don't fucking do it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Nobody is perfect, Lynn. See, that's what people say when they make a mistake. Right, right. But nobody is perfect, Lynn. God, you know, can you imagine if I do now for Lynn? Lynn is like Becky. Oh. Man, I think Lynn is worse than Becky. I think way worse. Yeah, this one. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I want like a moon on here too. I have to face in this. I hate it. I always like to draw the moon this way, not this way. <sighs> Becky, can you turn your hand over for me, please? Anything you need. Thank you, Becky. Oh. <gasps> 
Okay, Teflon mat is chrome repel, but when I I brush over it, I forgot to clear my white art gel. My white art gel is not repelling to chrome. This is a risk. That if the white art gel is laying on top of the Teflon mat, it will stick to chrome. We just have to see about this. This unique situation. We just have to see about this. Yeah, I think everything will be okay, but it might not be okay. Either way, they're gonna love it. They get to they see. Probably wouldn't even know anything. They get to see me tumbles. This is Munari, not perfect. Gosh. I do not like to draw Moon. Okay. Oh, still a little bit in here. I need to be thicker in here. I have to be fluid. Sharp and fluid. But remain sharp on the edge. Gosh. There you go. Oh my god, beautiful Kia. <laughs> Okay, time for this one. Okay. Start with the stinger first. Oh my god, this is great. Something else that my friend used to say. Oh, oh body's nerfing. Oh my god. <laughs> that she finds it easier to paint the moons the other way. Yeah. But isn't that the direction our moon is? No, I I, I know what she's talking about. Painted the point first instead of painted the metal first. Well, maybe she sits differently. Maybe she's on the other side. No, it just, it just depend on the per person uh, perspective. Are you going around the highlight, Tina? Um, yes, and don't quote me on this, but I hope that it's pretty. It's pretty with Y, of course, but it's going to be gold. Let's just chrome this one first so we, we don't go through this blandly. Just in case we don't like the gold. It's just I have to have gold on that. <laughs> have to? Have to. Uh. Solid chrome gold. Uh, strap applicators. Okay. So don't forget the cure. Did you cure? Uh, I think I did. Yep, I did. Pretty. 
It did. Oh, mm-hmm. yes. You like it? Yeah, a lot. Oh, my lord. Yeah. What have I done to deserve this beauty? <laughs> oh, I feel like I don't deserve this. Oh, my God. It's so beautiful. Yes. <sighs> oh, my God. Hey, yes. The other now. Did you cure the scorpion part? I haven't finished the other now. I was just trying to chrome this first so I don't I don't know that it's good or not, you know what I mean? But now I know. Yeah, you know you need to go into it. Oh, oh shoot. Now I'm overly confident, obnoxiously confident. Now I'm going to dive into it with okay. full force. Oh, look at me. So prue with all this thin line. Oh, let's make it thicker. Such a prude. Oh my god, I'm so excited about this. (laughs) It's so pretty. That's it, I can see the end now. I can see success at the end. See, I don't want to chrome it all the way because then it's not going to have much detail like this. This have a lot of details. And the fan, I'm going to make it go all the way. All the way go on the fan. That's a surprise. Say, I think this set will go viral. Oh, man, I hope so. I really do hope so. But then again, if it go viral, then I'm going to be nervous because my Sagittarius, that would be such an embarrassing to make a Scorpio set go viral and then a Sagittarius set set. I don't know. I'm so torn. It's like the, the more zodiac I do, the more pressure it is. I have to admit, I didn't see this. I see a vision, but I didn't. I didn't see the result. I didn't see this result. When I'm done, I'll show you my vision again. Uh, now the question is: Should I outline the rose, Dustin? What do you think? Should I? Out- no, you know what. It's blue. Let it blue. Let it be blue. Yeah. Yeah, let it be blue. Yeah. Yeah. That way it's not overbearing. Okay. Okay, now this one. With the spine. Go and let's go around it. Shake a little bit. Do what you do so well. Remember, shake all the way through. This is one and only chance to shake. Take it away. Mm. Ooh, Dominic, Dominic said, 
I would outline a few highlights with silver chrome. On the rose, uh, I have a thing against silver and gold. Um, I think that it's pretty. I always like silver and gold. Mm. But so many people have told me uh, that silver not supposed to go with gold, that silver look tacky with gold, and uh, it's have it's have caused me a nightmare for my belief. Now I'm every time that I think of silver and gold, I always mm, iffy, 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 like like scare, scare of uh, public opinions, the majority opinion, and. And when I make a set, I make it for the majority. So that's why I'm like, mm, I don't know. It's it's dangerous. You got a couple of people that thinks blue chrome might be cool. Blue chrome? Yeah, that might actually. That might be cool. That might be cool. Let me let me process it a little bit. Process. Or or sand it over, sand it over each petal and wood up. Blue uh, unicorn chrome on. Silver will be really nice. I'm just so scared. <laughs> Let me think about silver. Cause it's, 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 it's a really nice idea. <laughs> silver. Or moonlight chrome. So it can be lighter than silver. Now, moonlight chrome, I might go with it. Okay, now, time to chrome this. God, look at that. So beautiful. Mm. This one need a little bit too, so I can put some gold like twinkle on it. Glue dots, lovely crazy. Yes, glue dot. Oh, bouquet glue, oh. bou bouti, toupee, toupee <laughs> glue, Tou toupee uh, glue, or oh, toupee, toupee tape. Toupee tape. see it look like close together sassy frat say i do mind going silver all the time yeah i know and i like i like going silver mm. what i'm afraid of is the majority of, of opinions because i, I design for the majority so if mm, more than 50 percent doesn't like it then it will make my algorithm uh suffer not a personal opinion. Personal opinion, I love silver and gold. Okay, now let's see. This one, that Teflon mat it all the way. Where's my Teflon mat? It's here. La la la.
ya. La la la. All right, I have decided. <laughs> Give me a moment. Let me finalize my decision. I shall put metal f a c t u a l on the rose and moonlight effect it. Put moonlight effect in. It's a platinum, so it's brighter than silver. Yes, lovely crazy. There's a lot of ladies here that make、uh, press-ons. Yes, a lot. They're good at it too. Yes, they will be doing a Black Friday sale. Yeah. But no back orders. On Black Friday, we don't do back orders. If an item run out, it's run out. Okay. Maybe right here. Gotta think very carefully with this pattern.、Mm. I don't want to overdo it. Think Cindy said something about she was going to start to sell a little early and started. Yes,、yeah. you you guys got all day. Usually we wouldn't start until midnight, but、uh, you're gonna have it all day. And thank Thanksgiving Day, you're gonna have it all day too. Don't forget Cyber Monday. Oh, the white is also pretty. <laughs> But if I go with white, I should emboss it, which means matte everything, and then put white on top. I don't want to put white and then have to matte it because a layer of top coat does、uh, sort of take away the brilliance a little bit. It's a fuck. It's okay. I'm just gonna do、uh, moonlight effect. Beautiful.、Uh, yes, Tino announced the sale day on WhatsApp. Yes, on WhatsApp, I will post a code for you and everything. You guys will not miss out on it. So if you haven't joined WhatsApp, remember to join, so you don't miss out on any coupon and any sale and things. Like okay. And we were discussing maybe doing a marathon since we don't really celebrate Thanksgiving. Yeah, I don't celebrate Thanksgiving, so that day I might have a nail marathon. When I do now all day long, but、uh, it's not official because just depend on if I have、uh, content or not. Because if I run out of content, then then I have to focus on doing my content.、Mm. Tomorrow I will have a day off, and then I do live again、uh, the day after. Because I only have one video, I need to take picture and teaser and all that so I can have content again. I don't like it when I'm running low of content. And a twinkle right here, like a little star. Let's make this、uh, kind of big and noticeable.
してて9です OK and then you moonlight effect where is my moonlight effect right here there so I'm gonna use moonlight effect chrome it's a glazed chrome Wrap it in, wrap it in. You like it? Moonlight effect right here. Mo did I say moonlight effect? You did. Man, you know it's moonlight chrome. Moonlight chrome, not moonlight effect. Moonlight chrome. Go chrome here. Thank you, Shay. Okay, now, do you remember this part when I haven't cured my white art gel and it's bleed? Before I mat it, I will fix that mistake to erase that mistake from history. So no one ever would know that that mistake is there. It will be gone forever. Let's fix this mistake. Low bleeding. Cause a person couldn't see that that close. But I'm telling you that my troll friend, um, my troll friend, they would zoom in all the way just to be at the spot that bleeding, and we're like, oh, Tina, <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. But what's that? What what was? I think I saw a little bleeding. Are you okay? Yeah, my girlfriend. Have to look really close.
be very careful. Don't touch the gold. Oh, wait. You're not going to make the mistake. Just me. You don't have to do this. See, I'm the first one. Like a guinea pig, you know what I mean? Right. Now you can just flow through it smoothly. And when people say, did you make mistake? And you say, no, not really. Not really. Tino does, but not me. Here. Now, let's seal this. So, how we seal this is we mat everything and we trace a gold back and we're good. We are in business. <laughs> and see, if you hadn't said oh shit or whoops, they, they would have never known it. <laughs> right. It because I. Uh, when I'm on live, I, I keep my guard down. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But when I'm with client, mm -mm, I'm not going to... People would. I'm just going to gasp a little bit. Like, <gasps> and if they say, what's happened? They say, oh, I just... I just saw your reflection on the nails. <laughs> oh, my God. And it's... it's, it's I was surprised. Okay. All done now. Kind of mad, everything's. Lovely, crazy. Say, how do you get clients? Start from the ground up. When I first started, I take cheap clients that treat me like crap. Stay with me because I do good art. Jot them $31 a whole set with design and everything. When my book is full, I start dropping people like fly. Whenever I... I practice and I practice. Whenever I done working, I keep staying late at night and I practice. And I work my ass up so I can get really, really good. Then I doing good now and I post it on Facebook. People are knocking down my door and asking for appointment. But of course, I already have a full book. Full book of crappy clients. And mermaids. You got people mm -hmm. and mermaids. So I tell the people that asking for my appointment, I say, well, um... How sixty five bucks sound to you? They'd be like, good, good, good. I like, I can afford sixty five. So I call one of my clients that I got thirty one dollar, and I say, so my price right now is thirty five. Uh, is sixty five dollar? Can you afford it? If they can afford it, then I just text my other client. But if they cannot afford it, then I just say goodbye to them. I say, oh well, we have a great time. Bye. And then I take the new person in. When my entire book is become all sixty five uh, dollar client. Then I contact my waitlist again and I say, "Hey, I have a spot for you. It's gonna be one fifty. How that sound?" They be like, "Oh, that is sound good." If they can afford it, then I just move on to the next person because remember, I work my ass up. So on my waitlist, there are about five six hundred people at a time waiting waiting for a spot. So now I keep moving on the list until I get a person that agrees to 150. Then I call my $65 client and say, hey. So I raise my price to 150. How how's that sound to you? If they can take it, then I move on to the next person. I'll be like, hi. So my price is $150 now. How's that sound to you? I just keep asking until a person that say, oh, I don't know. Inflation and all that. I couldn't afford it. I say, bye. We have a good time. See you later. So, 
I text my uh, client that agreed to 150, and I say, "Hi, I have a spot. Welcome in." And I just keep going. So when all my book have 150 dollar uh, people, then I just move on to my next wait list, and I say, "Hi, <laughs> I have an open spot. It uh, 250. Can you afford it?" They say, "Oh, I don't know. It's a little too expensive." I say, "Okay, bye." Move on to the next person on the wait list. Hi. So I got a spot, 250. Can you afford it? Oh, I don't know. It's a little expensive. I said, bye. Move on to the next person. Can you afford it? They said, like, okay, yeah, I can afford it. My husband is a doctor. I can afford it. I'm like, okay, give me a day. I call you back. Start to contact my $150 client. I say, so I raised my, uh, my, uh, uh, I have raised my uh, section into 150 My price rate, can you handle it? Cost right now. A person that can pay $150, they can pay anything. So right now, it's more and more difficult to find a person that deny my request. But one of the benefits from it is if they agree to $150, then you don't have to replace them. When my price going up really high, most of my clients stay. The more they pay, like when you get past like $150, doesn't matter what they can pay. If you raise from 150 to 250, they can pay. They can even pay 350, 450. As long as a person that can afford 150 dollar now, they can afford anything. So right now, um, whenever my book is completely full with 250 dollar people, I can just raise my price whenever I want. Whenever I'm have a full book and I get sick and tired of someone, I decide to raise the price on them, just to hope that they cannot afford it. And if they can afford it, good for me. Then I have more money. Then they're, they're worth dealing with. Right. And as time go by, you just getting more and more and more money. But remember, you have to be good too. If you do ugly work, no money for you. No money for you. You have to do pretty work. Only people that do pretty work deserve money. People that do ugly work deserve less money. That's just how it's working in the nail tech world. So that is how... I get my client. Now I'm gonna get sanded. Apply sanded on here. Thank you. a little bit. Make sure that it's all nice and clean. Gel free. Tara say British people are tight, tight as fuck. <laughs> Just me, American people are tight too. Right, it's just whether or not they really want them. Right. I, I, when I first started, people don't want to pay me. People want pretty work, but they don't want to pay me. That's why I work my ass up to be to be really good. My mom always questioned it. She said, why do you stay up so late at night practicing and doing for them people so cheap? I never really take time to explain for my mom just because it's not her business. At that point, I have a direction. I don't know if it works or not, but at least I try. So I stay up nine days practicing, make sure that anything that they ask, I able to do. I never say no to my client. And when you have about, let's say, 500 people that are asking for you, that you couldn't put them in because your book are already full, at that point, you can play with pricing. Because at that point, you got nothing to lose. You already have a book full of clients. Whoever asks, you just give them a price. If they can take it, like 500 people, probably about less than 100 people will be able to pay me the price that I want. We're just playing with number here. Not everybody can afford it, but again, you don't want everyone. I start mine out low, but I know that there will be coming a day when my time will, will come, and it did. It took me about four or five years to get to that. 
first year it's easy breezy to get clients that is just 31 dollars set and everybody want want to go in just because it's so cheap but i do that so i can practice them i can use a hand as guinea pigs and i practice i practice on them i practice on myself that is so much practice and now i do now i do now art like every single day that doesn't compare to the amount of time that I practiced before. Before, I literally dedicate half of my day practicing now. 12 hours is a long time. But I don't think you ever even realize it because you get in the zone. Yeah, I love nail art. That's why now, every time that people... Sometimes I got a person that DM me and say, Oh my God, Tina, how do you charge so much? They never pay me. And the... I, I always go on their page, and then I, I would tell them, I'm like, mm, well, mm, I do live on live stream. I go live every week, mm, and I save the live for you. Some of them, like, oh, thank you, Tino. Some of them, like, well, I don't have time to, to watch live. Can you, at that point, I already lost interest. But, like, can you do the one-on-one -on -one class for me? I say, no, no way. If you cannot delegate time, to learn, then you don't deserve any money. Then you only deserve $30 nail set for the rest of your life. I'm very emotional about it just because I have spent so much time practicing. So I have absolutely no mercy for people that are lazy. People that are lazy, I tell them straight into their face. God, I love it every time it gets shiny again. Okay, one last go right here. Okay, I make it pretty thin. So it does take more time than usual for shining it, just because the line is so thin. But since it's zodiac sign, I want to take a little time on it. Just because I want it to go really good. I have no idea how I'm going to make video of this. Because the thumb is only going to be a galaxy. I might have to end up doing the whole scorpion again. Ugh. I don't know. Or I might just do a teaser with our video. Because we already have a uh, live stream. So I might just do a teaser. While I twirl my hand around. Kill this. You know what? I'm gonna use a five millimeters just because it's pick up gel better. Sassy, say location, please. So I'm living in Missouri, but I don't do nail art anymore. I don't do nail for client anymore. I only teach. Do you see that? Until this day, there's still people that ask me. Until this the wait day, list so the wait list is inf infinite. Every day, that people ask me, "Oh, can you do nail for me, please? I pay anything. Can you do nail for me?" I have like so many people, like up to a thousand, asking me every day. That is a result of practice. Practice get you there. You have to let the work speak for itself. You have to let people see. The work but there's people that expect money but they don't want to put work into it you have to work you have to put work into it Liz wants to know what you're gonna do on the thumb. on the thumb I'm just gonna do a galaxy like a blue galaxy but then again I don't know because I really want to make a video hmm I, I might end up have to be creative I might do like a like a com compass pattern. Yeah, I might do that. Do you have any suggestions, Linz? Anything that represents the beauty of the Scorpio? But nothing dramatic because it's a thumb. Like a helping design. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do a rose. Cause just a rose alone, I don't know. So, I might do a galaxy with a compass pattern. I think you should do the scorpion sign. 
Yeah, but I need something else to go with it, too. I need something else. Not just a scorpion sign. Something that are enough to cause attention. But not too crazy. I mean, I don't have a pretty lady on here. I just have a scorpion. So on the camera, I might do a pretty lady. Like like a, like a face of some sort. That's my take. That's my do. La, la, la. A Scorpio constellation. Mm. I, I want to do something that mm, are easy but not too easy. I might paint a lady face on that. It's so sleepy music, Dustin. I know, right? We really gotta get some Christmas shit going. Tara, do you know that there is uh, any Christmas playlists that are like non copyright? I'm so scared of playing Christmas music. I think they are co all copyright. Unless it's instrumental. Uh, MC Nan, thank you. Who is that in the photos? I mean, is it supposed to be you or something? Look like your daughters. You have a daughters? Oh my God. Look like your daughters, Linz. Oh my God, you guys. Let me see. Let me take a something and put it on. It's so pretty. <sighs> Lisa said since you've been watching and learning from me, people have been putting in a lot more nail orders. Mm-hmm. Don't stop practicing neither. You keep going and just the more the more you go, the more money you have. And, and Jamie's restructuring everything. Good. What what she do? She's getting rid of the ones that are complicated. Yes, yeah. yes. Yes, Jamie. That is a right decision. Not mine to do. You wanna be happy. You want to be happy doing now. You don't want to be stressed out doing now. To me, this that, is a profession you should be happy with. Yes. But yes. I'm judging off of how happy. Well, sometimes people make. Sometimes it. people make you miserable. And it's not you. It's just. It's just people. Tino is a Sagittarius. Yes, I can't wait. It's. It's the sun. After this sun, I am. Ah, oh, I am so torn. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I might end up to do a sexy uh, center. Okay. A really sexy center with six pack and everything. Six pack and everything. You know what? I might take Jason Momoa and then put his face on a, a horse body. Oh. Or just someone, someone to be like, what male actor should I, I put on for a center? I might go with that. <laughs> Maybe Marilyn Manson. <laughs> <laughs> 
How about that? Oh. Marion Manson on the center, on, the, on a horse. That is so pretty. I love it. How do you do? Great. I'd, so this is my inspiration. Let me show you. So I found this online on Pinterest um, because I was searching for color and I attracted to the blue and gold. I'm not necessarily want the scorpion on here. I just like what like the colors. I found this on um, Pinterest, and that's why we use it to draw this. So I use the pattern on this. I thought I would black and white shading because that's the easiest it's to use shadow. All I do is using shadow, and I just make the whole thing black and white shade and everything. Because shadow, you can shade with it. So that's what I did. Then after that, I take stained glass gel. Because stained glass gel is a see-through gel. I paint, I paint blue on the rose. Several shades of stained glass. Same with a scorpion. After that, I use my metal uh, technique. So Teflon matte. I use it to block everything out. So chrome wouldn't stick on the background. It only stick onto my design because I use uh, metal fat gel. Up to tap on that, metal fat gel, love chrome. So I draw it on here, rub chrome on, blah, 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 all done. So that's my inspiration. Happy birthday, Linz. I know your birthday already passed, but happy birthday. This is your birthday month. And the reason why I don't, uh, I I don't chrome the scope in other way because I want all the texture to show. Uh, that is the risk. Cause I didn't know what it's gonna look like, but now I'm I'm pretty happy with it. Mm. The roses also. One of the audience suggests uh, silver, but I was torn about silver, so I use moonlight effect just to make it a little lighter. And I'm happy with that too. So I'm really happy with this set. Now I just gonna make a videos. Oh, Lynn wanted me to put the LV on the back. Oh my God, where well, my black art gel? What color should we do it with? Oh, it's white on the back, so it should be black. Oh, black art gel. People are gonna ask me. It's like. Tino, what's the LV stand for? Gosh, what am I going to tell them? You say her. It's come from hers. <sighs> Let's do this, Pinky. Oh, it's black. <sighs> Let's do the ring fingers. Here for you, Linz. Alright, there you go, Linz. Okay. Yeah. Oh, 
Okay. Now we're done. I will post this immediately too. Good job, honey. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Dominatrix Nails. Uh, what is a WhatsApp? Can you pass me the medium phone so I can show them? You're welcome, Les uh, lovely nails. Let me show you the WhatsApp. Here we go. So this is how you join. And when you join, just remember that nobody talked in that group but me. And Tara. Nobody talked in that group. It's just, it just a group to alert you whenever I'm on live or whenever I have a sale. That's just a group to alert you. Free to join. Honey, here you get a kiss. That's from Lens. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for joining me today, you guys. I have a lot of fun today. Oh, Lindsay! Oh gosh, they need to see us kissing. Oh. My God! No, this is how it all starts. All right, so I'm out of here, and remember, tomorrow I'm up live. <coughs> And then I'll be on live again on uh, the day after tomorrow. What is the day after tomorrow? Um, Sunday today. Monday, Tuesday. Tuesday. So I'll be on live again Tuesday. i got to finish my content. And mm, we got one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got eight more. Mm -hmm. And then I have to make another batch of live. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye, dust, bye, dawn. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Tia. What do you think? You do another paint along. Um, so tomorrow I have to do content. Tuesday, um, maybe I try this week. Whenever you next this week. right. Yeah, yeah. I have been busy lately. Mm, I have a project lately that I'm working on uh, behind the background. Yeah, I couldn't tell you, but you know it when it comes. But I've been busy lately, so I haven't had time to do interactive live or to do an organized live, which uh, we be able to do it again since since uh, our highlight is back now. So let me show people the, our highlight just in case they want to know. So when I say highlight, this is what I mean. Just in case you don't, just in case uh, you haven't. Um, heard about that before so this is my page on instagram and in my page these are what i call highlights mm, we have lost our highlight uh we have not be able to access our live stream through highlight for a while but now we got it back mm. so when you click on this like let's say ombre gel ombre you click on this and you click into the video so you can click watch video. So all of these are not just typical design. Like these are typical design where I just get on and I design a set. It have many, many technique in it. Uh, but these are not typical design. Each one of these highlights are very important technique. Like this one, teach you how to do land work. If you're a beginner, you definitely need this land work. Uh, this one teach you how to blend pigment properly. Um, this one teach you how to work with ink and take the gel. This one show you what stained glass gel do. So all of these are very important technique. So later on, I'm going to have more of that. Since we got our highlight back. Sassy Frat say it's still not working for me. Is that just Sassy Frat Tara? Is everyone else able to work? Huh. Tanya say it doesn't work neither. Let me check. Let me check on my other's page. Do you know live stream? Let me see. Click on that. 
It's work for me. I'm on a different page. I'm on two different pages. And it's, so far, it's work for me. Let me try the third page. Maybe they need to... Uh, <clears throat> update the phone or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, it's work for me. Yeah, it's work for me. So, uh, so it's it's just your phone. So it's it's better. It's a better problem. Before I'm panicked because before mm, it doesn't work at all. Like even my account, I go on different account. It doesn't work. It's frustrating. Uh, it's already fixed. So whatever it is, it's probably just some kind of update phone issue or something. Um, and I'm sure Tara and Linz and all that. Um, can help you out because I think they all can access it. iPhone. Oh, Tanya doesn't have iPhone. <gasps> doesn't. Tanya doesn't have iPhone. Why That's didn't we, why. Why didn't we block her a long time? Why I know, you? right? God, you gotta make, gotta get an iPhone and we block you. We're That's iPhone crazy. people. We are anti Galaxy. We're anti Note, Samsung, whatever it is. We are Team iPhone. We don't know how to use anything else. It's so complicated. iPhone make it easy. You just yell at it. And <laughs> it will be loaded on here. After I get out this live, this live will be saved immediately on Instagram. Oh, by the way, whenever I go on TikTok, I'm not going to WhatsApp and alert because when I'm on TikTok, it's not me going live. It's my, not me teaching. I'm just going to... Whenever I'm on TikTok, I'm just doing grunt work on TikTok, basically. I'm just chit-chatting on it for like for like 30 minutes or so, or a little more. So mm, if you see um, TikTok and wondering why I don't text WhatsApp, just because it's not a lesson. It's just me going on there being silly. That's all. All right, everyone. I will see you later. I will see you Tuesday. Can, cannot find you on WhatsApp. No, you don't find me. You don't find me on WhatsApp. You just go onto this group. Let me show you the QR code again. Yeah, don't find me. Don't find me. Even if you have my WhatsApp, you're still not going to be able to go into the group. You have to like go into the group through this QR code. Yeah, it, if you have my WhatsApp, it'd be useless. You have to have the code, the, the, the group. That's what you need. I'm going to leave on here for about 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 1. Oh, I mean, 2, <laughs> 1. All right. Bye-bye, everyone. And I will save it right away. Thank you. Thank you. I will see. Oh, can Nancy, now say, can I hear the video get lost? Nancy, you just need to click on, uh, take a snapshot of this and then join the gr uh, group through this, through this QR code. Bye bye, everyone. Bye, Linz. Bye, Tanya. I'll see you later.